back to my channel. My name is Jason Matuk. I am a realtor in South Florida, but I'm going to be showing you one of the, I think one of the most special penthouses in all of, I was going to say Miami, but at this point, pretty much all of South Florida. We're at the Regalia on Sunny Isles Beach, and this place is just surrounded by the most incredible views. A few key things to point out. It's got a movie theater. There's a pool on the roof. It's got over 6,000 square feet of outdoor terrace space, which is bigger than most people's mansions. Uh, and for the interior, we're looking at just about 9,000 to 11,000 under air, depending on what you count. And then we have five bedrooms, six bathrooms, two half bathrooms, and one office that could easily be its own bedroom. It has a full bathroom as well in there, so why not? I just wanna give a shout out to the listing agent for letting me do this tour. I really appreciate it. And I think this is gonna be like one of our best videos if I'm not mistaken. But if you'd like have any questions, you wanna contact him, his information will be down below. It takes you right in. So it just takes you right into the living room. And this is kinda of like, as the listing agent was saying, this is like the money shot. When you walk in, this is where you, you kinda of just like realize that you're you're in somewhere different. There's 22 foot high ceilings. I mean, just take a look at these chandeliers, these light fixtures. I'm not gonna call them chandeliers. It's just, it's just a piece of art that lights up a room, honestly, at this point. And then you have just like the most endless views of the ocean that you can possibly see. It actually looks like a, like a prairie, but made out of water. It's just endless for miles. It fades out in the background. Have a glass of wine, hang out with some friends. And it's a really, quiet place but let me tell you it is not the only place where you can just lounge like this it just it goes on and on forever and we're gonna pass the floating staircase with the glass railings you'll notice right away when we get to the bar you're gonna pass through a see-through wine bottle holder it can hold about 600 bottles of wine which is incredible it's an onyx bar that glows which is super cool especially if you're entertaining or if it's nighttime that thing is gonna shine like it's just gonna be insane, honestly. Got ice makers, sink, everything you'd need, and then TV, seating, and just once again, every room is gonna have it. You can see all of Sunny Isles Beach. Really, one thing I really like about this is I could see Miami from here, the city. Just that very well-known view of it, and there's no construction going on on either side of this building. It's completely private, and it's very nice. So as we come from the bar, try to, try to keep up with me. We're gonna pass a half bathroom, and this is one of the two half bathrooms, and it leads right away into a movie theater. Now, sometimes people might say, oh, a movie theater, you know, a couple chairs and a big TV, not this. This is like movie grade level movie theater. Just right away, massive screens, state of the art projector on the top, and then you literally have backdrop curtains to make it pitch black in here. The room is also soundproof. The movie's over. It's time to cut the screen. You just simply hit the drapes button. And then if you look behind you. So as we come out of the movie theater, we're gonna pass another half bathroom. And these half bathrooms, I just wanna take a look at this one really quick. These half bathrooms aren't, this is not too shabby. They're not small. Look at the space you have, the design. All the finishes in here are just like the best of the best. They all have amazing views. And then as we come from here, this is more of a like an entertaining space. This is what I would envision this. I think many would see it this way as well is imagine just having a little pool table, shoot some pool with the, with, the, with the boys, with the girls, just entertaining space. I don't know, there's a bar right over there. So in a movie theater, this is just like the whole floor is just about entertaining and having a great time. And of course, it's gonna have a huge giant, I don't know, this size this TV next to me, massive TV right here. It leads into another place where you could potentially sit and watch. That's what I'm saying, there's so many living rooms, so much space, you could really do anything you want. And one thing I wanna mention, all this furniture that you see, it is included in the sale. And right here, they've actually included a space where you can put a partition between the two rooms and make them separate. And just have like two separate rooms, which is really convenient. You probably don't need these many living rooms, but maybe you do. If you don't, separate them. And then one feature I'd like to point out about the details here is that you have bird's eye maple. If you don't know what that is, it's a very unique piece of wood that literally looks like it has bird's eyes in it. From this living room on our left, this is gonna be the uh, office where it could either be a bedroom or an office. You know what, you have enough bedrooms, let's just have an office. I'm sure you're gonna do some work in your house. The privacy drapes, 
nice computer TV, like just up on that wall. So if you want to project something on there while your clients or whoever wants to see, perfect. And then this side, you actually have more like north views of like this is just like the whole ocean. You can see Palm Beach. You can actually see Palm Beach from here, which is insane. I can see Fort Lauderdale. I can see the Hard Rock. It's just, this is just like a, it's a very inspiring place and I can see myself being inspired in here. Plus, I mean, Godiva chocolate just laid out, just laid out all over the place. Like it's, like it's Hershey's. Fire, delicious. <laughs> and then here, the ensuite for this. And like I said before, these en suites ain't too shabby. I mean, they really, I mean, look at the amount of space floating, that gorgeous maple design, countertops, everything just feels like, it feels like silk, honestly. And then this huge walk-in shower. I mean, just literally, like I wouldn't go in here if it wasn't special. I mean, look at the size of this walk-in shower. It, ha it had to note it, I had to make a note of it. We're gonna go ahead and pass the laundry room. There are two laundry rooms, one on the first and one on the second floor. This is the first floor laundry room. It's a laundry room, it's got everything. So as you come into the kitchen, I'm gonna mention a few details about here that I really like. So right away, wolf appliances throughout, except for the fridge, which is sub-zero. Both of these are refrigerators. You have a dual refrigerator on this side, and then for your freezer, it's got its own separate slide for this freezer. And then on this side, one feature that's really incredible I mean, you could, this is just to show you the kind of detail they have, right? And the cabinets, you would think like, oh, how annoying is it to reach in there and do that? But you literally just pull right here and the cabinetry comes out and just makes everything easy. They, like you can see just like the detail in this alone tells you that they, how much detail went into every single thing in this place, that they would take that much time at the cabinets. Just beautiful. You have, this whole house is also crest in technology, so it has, the lighting, the media, the climate, the shades, what, literally, this is basically, this is a glorified iPad. You basically got an iPad, Elon Musk over here, look at you. Listen, you, if you follow my channel, you know that I've seen a lot of places, right? I've seen a lot. I've never seen, this is like what you see when you get in like hibachi, like you know what I mean? Like at Benihana, look at the size of this air vent. Coffee makers, we've seen wolf, you know, steamers. Have you ever seen a wolf, like just like a side grill? It's like basically like a grill. Like you literally have a Wolf grill right here next to the Wolf stovetop. And then how about this? Wolf air fryer. When have you seen a Wolf air fryer in a kitchen? It's just literally every single thing you can need. And that's what the kind of thing that you get when you're looking at the best of the best. You're getting things that you just haven't seen before. On top of that, look at all the storage spaces. Just, just I mean, I don't even know why I just opened that one drawer, but just literally a million drawers, everything you would need. And then if that's not like a kitchen in itself, it continues on and you have the newest, best wolf ovens right over here, warming tray, huge, huge countertop, two sinks. Sink number one, this is kind of like, this is just like the, when you have like a lot of dishes, maybe like the service sink, and then for you, when you want to wash that like one glass of coffee, but you want like a good view while you're doing it, you got like the crazy sink on this side, which is just immaculate. All the bar stool seating on one side, so you can even sit in here if you'd like without making it messy with like a table. You got your own seats right here, just beautiful. And then the last thing to mention is the Wolf coffee maker. And I believe this is a steamer. I'm pretty sure this is like a vegetable steamer. Would you say this is the best kitchen we've ever seen? 100%, 100%. Out of all the houses. This is like a chef's kitchen. Like the people have to sit oh. at the end of the, it's, it's a. It's a caterer's kitchen. It's a caterer's kitchen. See, like, I could have just taken you into like a basic dining room. Not at all. I just took you into the, this is the piece de resistance of dining rooms. This is a, the, as good as it gets when it comes to dining. You have a 12 person sitting table and the best part about these kind of tables is that everyone is included. There's no wrong end. There's no boring end. Everyone's looking at each other. Everybody has good views. Even if you're sitting here, you're back over there. You can literally still see all of the city, Fort Lauderdale, the hard rock with the beautiful lights that comes up. It's just incredible. And then just take a look at this light fixture. Have you seen anything like that? It almost looks like a salt lamp that's floating over the top. It's just, just remarkable. And it just goes to show you like the value of what you're getting out here. So before we go to the second story, I'd like to show you the first story, Balcony Terrace. So 
Here we are on the, on the first of the three terraces that they have out here. It's like almost like being on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean, which I am in love with. I mean, look, there's a windsurfer over there, and look how tiny, that man is a bug. There is literally a bug. And like I was saying, it's over 6,000 square feet of outdoor terrace space. So from here, let's go take a look at the second story of this beautiful penthouse. Okay, so you just saw the first floor. We're gonna head to the second floor now, and it's pretty much exactly what we just saw, but maybe more impressive? Maybe, I don't know, what do you think? I think it's, I think it's just as impressive, but it gets crazy. There's some things that you haven't seen, including one of the most breathtaking master bathrooms. I'm gonna stop talking, let's just get upstairs. Let's take a look. This is where the bedrooms are, right? And like I was saying, right from this hallway, this is where the elevator can take you back up if you want. You can click the 44th floor, take you right up here, which is great if you have like kids and maybe you're throwing a party, who knows what the situation is, but you want a group of people to come straight to the bedrooms, easy access to them. But right behind me, we're gonna take a look at the junior master suite, the VIP suite. Basically convinced me it was a master suite at first, but believe it or not, this isn't a master suite. Let's take a look. The first thing, I mean, what do you expect me to say? That's the thing, like, what do you expect me to say? You walk in and it's just a views right in your face. Besides the, I mean, the obvious, I mean, like, look, like, it's obvious that you can see the ocean, incredible, breathtaking, yes, all of that. But like, some of the key features like when you wanna live in South Florida, you wanna see the things that South Florida is known for. One of them is the skyline of Miami, equivalent to like if you lived in Brooklyn and you were looking at the New York City skyline, you literally can see the entire skyline of Miami in the distance, just gorgeous. This building, you're towering over them, so basically no one is looking into you, no one's looking into the windows, and the best of all, you're on top of everyone. You're almost like on top of the world here. Best part, I almost missed it, most of the bedrooms have this, you know why they did this? They did this because they didn't want to interrupt the view, and I don't blame them. But let's say that like, what's one thing that you notice about this room? Where's the TV, right? Please don't fret, don't fret at all. TV comes down and you could, this is just, the TV comes down. You have a full length body mirror, which is great as you can see, like to see your whole fit. I would not have known that I needed to tuck my shirt in, fix my belt. That's the best I can do. I, that's all I've got. I'm working with what God gave me. Got a b wet bar over here, sink, all the necessities. This is, I mean, do, don't you feel like you're in a master suite? It's insane. On my left is gonna be the ensuite. Huge double length dual sink, gorgeous. It has that nice water flow effect over here. And then on the left of that, the walk-in shower with just like all the jets, everything that you would need, a huge shower right into the top, gorgeous. And then as you come around this corner, this is where the toilet is, and I, this is the number one place to go number two. Once again, if, not, if it didn't convince you already that this could be potentially a master suite, you have this ridiculous, ridiculous walk-in closet. So as you come across towards what's gonna take us to the master suite, you get a better look at these hanging uh, lights, which is just, I mean, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. It almost looks like the Rolls Royce lights at the top of the ceiling, and you can really appreciate the two-level window looking out into the ocean, which is, this, that's the piece de resistance. It's beautiful. As we come in, this is the crown jewel of master bedrooms. This is basically a replica of where we just were in that other junior suite. However, everything is bigger. The TV that comes down from the wall is bigger. It's right above you. You have the master bed, king size bed with king size views. As far as you come up until this point, you see nothing but water. It's the kind of thing where it just shocks you so much every time that you just, you don't even have words for it. A whole wall of just views. Look at this, look how gorgeous that is. You can see the wind surfers. These are just beach properties and very rarely on the ocean in Miami do you have houses just facing the open ocean. We were very known for our bayfront, but these are waterfront mansions. And that whole strip, unlike the Sunny Isles strip, is very quiet. You can see there's barely any traffic going down there and that's what your view is. Quiet, mansions, and ocean. We're gonna walk up to right here. We're gonna hold up for a second. I'm about to show you a million dollar bathroom.
And when I say a million dollar bathroom, I'm not talking fancy words. I mean, if you were to estimate the price of this bathroom, it's about a million dollars. Look at this wet bar. You can already tell the marble goes up against the wall to the ceiling. There's a, it covers the sink. This alone should tell you what you're about to see. So without further ado, let's take a look at the million dollar bathroom. We'll start off slow. So you walk in, I mean, look behind me. First of all, marble all over the walls, everywhere you can see marble everywhere. Everything in here is dual. There's two of everything. So right here, you actually have the walk-in bathroom. So toilet and the bidet, more marble. It leads into a sit-in tub with all the functionalities of a jacuzzi. It's got bubbles, it's got jets, it's got literally everything you need on top of that overlooking the view again and it overflows and has a place to catch it but just look at all the marble around here as well this is where one of the first closets are so in the closet this is a master's closet i mean look at the size of this thing it's got a little even like a little place for a safe if you want to have a safe in there perfect all right over here take a look at this walk-in shower got that insane rain hood at the top like a pizza oven and then all the cool knobs, jets, whatever, when you're taking a shower with that crazy, crazy view. Here we go with the sink number one. Gentle silk wash. I mean, just look at the storage here. And then here we have a nice little vanity. First of all, I just said nice little vanity, like, like this is nothing. This is an insane vanity. This vanity, marble going all the way around, it has a mini sink, come look at this. So that right next to this built-in mirror, there's a sink underneath. Storage down below, literally any woman, any guy, anyone who does, does makeup will be in love with this. On my left, another closet, because there's gonna be his and hers. And it leads us into, and you might think I just walked into the same walk-in shower. This is a different walk-in shower. That, there was one over there, literally right over there. This is the second walk-in shower. It's just flipped. So it has the water on this side, the jets, the pizza oven thing at the top. Insane. We go a step further. This is another sink. This is his, probably his sink. The vanity is on that side. Mirror, everything beautiful. And then the marble continues, even on the floors, into the next uh, toilet and bidet. And it's not done yet. Keep walking down. One of the coolest features ever that I would use every single day, you have a wet and a dry sauna. So in the dry sauna, look at this, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna mess it up. You have the coals, you have two champagne glasses because obviously you'll be drinking champagne and the best thing to have in a sauna and people who use saunas will agree with me, speaker. What is better than listening to music? You just tap right here and you got your whole sauna experience, play your songs, set the heat, everything. On this side, the exact same reverse. More in a, this is the, the damp wet sauna has a rain head in the top as well, but just look how cool this is and the speakers in here as well. So you can really appreciate that the marble continues in all of this. And it's like the most smooth, beautiful marble I've ever seen. As you come out of that, should I even call it a, what should I even call that? If I come out of Disneyland? Spa. No, the whole thing? The, that's basically an entire spa. As I come out of Marble Disneyland, we're gonna walk down here and we're gonna have a few other guest suites. We literally have only seen a junior suite and the master bedroom. Here we have a guest suite. I'll try not to spend too much time, but this is kind of like if you booked like the business executive suite in a hotel, like this is what it looks like. Crazy views is here as well. You got that insane balcony that wraps around with the, in just like the best of the best views. And then a full walk-in shower, bathroom, all of this beautiful counter space. I love these light fixtures too, look at that. Just, it feels like I just pick it up and walk around with it. So we have this balcony out here, and it's just, you can literally see all of Sunny Isles, the bridge that takes you in. You can see the, the, the stadium, the hard rock, just literally incredible. Look at Miami in the distance over there. So we're gonna pass the, where the, the elevators are that leads you up to the second floor and we're actually gonna pass another guest bedroom right over here. And like I said, it's kind of like the reverse of the other bedroom. So same exact kind of style. This one has a tub. And once again, just look, look at the design of this thing. Look at the, the, the marble just going across up against the wall. The tile is just gorgeous. Beautiful sink and just tons of space in here as well. All the TVs in here mounted on the wall flawlessly flat. Looks really good. From here, 
We're getting close. We're almost at the second, the third floor. We're still on the second floor of this place. So on my left, you walk in and you have this beautiful, this also is almost like another master suite. This is like another VIP suite, just like the junior master that we saw. Look, you have basically like a place to sit, maybe do some work right in front of the TV. Huge king size bed right here. Gorgeous surround sound speakers, a nice little like lounging therapy chair, look alike kind of thing. As you come in, walk in shower, view for your toilet. Like literally, imagine using the toilet here. Look what. You leave your phone outside. You don't even need your phone. Your entertainment's on the left. That's it. But it's got its own gorgeous views out here. Look how beautiful that is. And the best part is we're on the second story of this huge building and it's completely no wind. Look at my shirt. No wind. Dead out here. You can come out here easily and lounge. And it's just got a great view of all of Sunny Isles going down. That's the Armani building. Beautiful, beautiful, once again, almost 6,000 square feet if you can try picturing that in your head. And we're gonna take a look, there's, so this is the elevator we're gonna be taking. Now this elevator, you can literally take this on the, from the first floor up to the third, but we're, you can only take this from the second to the third. What could, what's like a possibility for this room? This room? Yeah. Honestly, an exercise space. Wow. It could be a mix of different things. That's an awesome one, like a gym. This is like an almost. No, you're right, because look, sink, I TV. I would honestly make this an office. Really? In my office, I would die to have a coffee maker. Look at that, he's right. And a microwave. You have Mila, coffee maker, cappuccino maker, gorgeous. He's right. Just insane. Look, you know, I, don't, I don't know, you might have been spotted him at the, coffee, the, the gym thing. I mean, that's pretty sick. Speakers in here, great sitting area, views, yeah. We're actually gonna take this elevator, and we're gonna head to the third floor, and on the third floor, there's a little surprise there for you. Just open this tube up. It comes in. It's like floor number three. Vacuums everything in and it takes us up. And one thing that's really cool, so you might think that what we're passing right here is a third floor for like living. This is actually like where the, the brains of the house is, all the smart technology, the service, stuff like that. So you really don't really even need to get to this point of the house. It kind of skips past that, which I think is pretty sick. And then takes us straight to the top floor and then look at this. To, to give you like a better idea of what it feels like to be here, the minute you walk out of there, it smells like a spa, like a luxury sauna spa. Like you have the drinks just set out right here. You have a dishwasher up here, like literally a full service entertaining space. And then you have a half bathroom right over here. One really incredible feature is that Originally, when they built this, it did not have these glass walls going around. But as you can tell by the way I'm not blowing away, it causes it to be a lot more stable, a lot less wind. You also have an awning that can go across if it's raining or if it's too hot to cool down this whole area. Check it out. You have warming trays and ice maker refrigerator. Look at the size of this grill you have out here. Never been touched. And just imagine grilling eating, making your favorite food with your friends and family, and you're looking out into the ocean. I mean, just imagine those views. Just re really, 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 just like incredible, to say the least. And then take a look, like literally almost like a full size in the floor pool, in the ground pool. And then check it out, you have a shower out here. So if you get all, I don't know, you, you know what, if you feel like taking a shower on the roof, like maybe you come take your full showers out here, honestly. Like I take a shower out here. Give everyone a nice view. There's no one even looking, so who's gonna see? We're so high up, I think it's time to show you the outside terrace of this place on the roof. And once again, look at my shirt. No wind, dead quiet. You can really just enjoy the outdoor place here. More places to tan. Do me a favor. Literally imagine just hanging out, tanning on a, like this is where you tan. No obstructions. Top of the top of the world. And look at this, just incredible. Literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, so this continues on this. The terrace of this floor and the first floor are complete 360s.
this is it. This is it. This is the best of the best. And um, you know what? What's a better place to end than right here? So, without further ado, and I'm sure this video is at a million of views now that you're watching it. But I'd just like to say, you know, I couldn't have got here if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't seen it already, just came back from California. Did like a tour there. I also do tours in South Florida because that's where I'm from. That's, that's my place. I'm, I'm a South Florida boy. So I got tours over there. If you have any questions, any recommendations, reach out to me. Follow me on Instagram, please. Be nice. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.